monitoring the safety of the blood supply. Each year in the UK, around 1 million donors give about 1.8 million blood donations that are processed into components for clinical use. Donors are needed from a range of backgrounds to help make sure there is the right type of blood for everyone who needs it. To keep blood safe for recipients, the blood services have several safety strategies in place to minimise the risk of infection. This starts with donor selection. This means some people may be asked not to give blood if they've had an infection or if they have behaviours that might put them at increased risk of acquiring one. Before coming to donate, the blood services encourage everyone to check if they can give blood. At donation, everyone is asked some specific questions and depending on their answers may be told they cannot give at that time. All donations are collected, processed into components and stored according to strict quality control procedures to reduce the risk of contamination. Barcoding is used for better traceability of components from the donor to the hospital they're issued to. For blood donation screening, samples are taken from every donation and tested for evidence of infections using very sensitive screening assays. If these are reactive, the donations are not supplied for clinical use. For the past 20 years, donations have been tested for hepatitis B, C, HIV, and HTLV as well as syphilis. Testing began using serological assays but later more sensitive molecular methods have been used too. Tests for hepatitis E were included from 2016 and another test for hepatitis B was added in 2022. In addition, platelet components are screened for bacteria. Depending on where a blood donor was born or has recently travelled to, their donation may also be tested for evidence of malaria Chagas disease or West Nile virus. If a donation tests positive, the donor is contacted to inform them of the result, given advice about their infection and organise onward referral to care where required. Possible sources of the infection are also discussed to check if current donor selection processes are appropriate. There is always a potential risk that an infection may not be detected in a donation. This is because even the most sensitive tests will not be able to detect a very recent infection and we do not test for every infection. If a hospital suspects a recipient has acquired an infection from a transfusion, they will report this to the blood service for a full investigation. In addition, if a donor who has given blood before is found to have an infection, the blood services will investigate and trace any recipients accordingly. In both situations, the blood services carefully gather information to confirm if a transmission has occurred and report to SHOT and SABRE as required. Avoiding unnecessary transfusions can also help to reduce the risk of infection for recipients. It's important to make sure that hospitals are guided so that only people who need blood are transfused. Finally, there is surveillance to keep a close eye on infections in donors and recipients. Regular monitoring can show how well things are working or if changes to donor selection or donation testing policies need to be considered. The surveillance information collected throughout these processes tells us they are working well to keep blood safe. Among the 1.8 million donations tested each year, low numbers are positive for infection. From this, the chance that an early HIV, hepatitis B or hepatitis C infection is not detected is estimated at less than 1 in 1 million donations tested in the UK. This means that up to two potentially infectious donations could enter the supply chain each year. However, reported transfusion transmission infections are very rare. Keeping blood safe doesn't just focus on what is seen in donors and recipients in the UK. Surveillance also looks for new and emerging infections worldwide that could also affect the safety of the blood supply. Information is gathered about those affected by the infection and whether it's transmissible via transfusion. And if there is something of concern, the safety measures currently in place will be reviewed. Knowing blood is safe can help people who need components to make decisions about their transfusion. The safety measures described here have been in place for over 20 years the UK blood services continue to monitor to sustain a safe supply of blood components. Safe blood saves lives.
In this video, we acknowledge all hospitals reporting to SHOT and SABRE, Health Education England, the Digital People Skills Team at NHSBT, the SHOT Team, Steering Group and Working Group members, UK Forum and NHSBT Microbiology Services. This video was written and presented by Katie Davison on behalf of the SHOT Working Expert Group. More information and educational resources can be found on both the SHOT UK website and the app. Thank you for watching.